Call me the combatants. Coming at you quick with some fan fictions. We're going to be reviewing some terrible fan fictions made by people who have nothing to do with their lives. Please enjoy. Please notice me. All right, guys. So tonight's fan fiction is Justin Bieber's daughter. This this bad fan fiction by Kaylee Bailey. Now uh, I would like to put a disclaimer. Uh, I do not know what is in this story. I've never read it before. The, we 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 literally came up we we came up with this video on the spot. So enjoy. Hopefully we'll enjoy it too. Yeah, no warnings about what's in here. Yeah. I, all I know is it has something. It could be anything. It has something to do with abuse. So oh, wait, hey, 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 hey. Maybe we should assign parts because I've noticed there's four people. Oh. <gasps> I'll pass. Oh yeah, and look, look how it goes. It goes Justin, <laughs> Selena, Justin, yeah. Selena. All right, who wants to be Justin? I'll, I'll, I'll be Selena. I'll be Justin, I guess. Okay. Are we ready, gentlemen? Yeah, we're ready. Fan fiction. All right. Justin Bieber's daughter story. By, by Kaylee Bailey. <laughs> Chapter 1. Born. At hospital. Look at little Jacqueline Bieber. She's beautiful. You make the most beautiful girls, Justin. Thanks, Selena. At home. Justin, I'm heading to work. Take care of Jacqueline. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Leaves. Bye. Leaves. <laughs> no, no, you gotta be Jacqueline Daniel. Sorry, I'm doing it. <laughs> All right, doing it. All right, uh, I guess Fine. I'll be Jacqueline. Wow, what's wrong, Jacqueline? Wow, <laughs> wait, you want your bink? Sucks on bink. <laughs> wait, more on the binky. There, are you better? 4 a.m. Okay, Jacqueline, time for your bath. At friggin' four in the morning, what the heck? <laughs> Giggles. In bathroom. Okay, let me check if the water's warm. Feels water. Yep, okay. Jacqueline, let you go a bath. Wait, hold on. That's yep, okay, out. Jacqueline, let go to you a bath. What? Let, let get you a bath. I'm tired. He lifts up hands. Okay, close your eyes so I can let any soap in your eyes. I can't let any soap in your eyes. I don't know why I can't read it. Giggles. Whoa, you splashed a lot of water. Splashes water. <laughs> and then, uh, okay, you done? Like, kind of done. Okay, you're done. Yeah. Pick up Jacqueline. In, Jack in Jacqueline's room. room. Now let me change your shirt. Ha 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 ha. Okay, get to bed, Jacqueline. Gets his, Gets head. his head. Good night, Jacqueline. Jacqueline's sleeping. sleeping. Oh, here we go. You're not doing a very good imitation. Justin, of, I'm yeah. home. Hey. Oh, okay. I'm going to bed. <laughs> you skipped you it. You skipped two lines. <laughs> Did I really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. Is she sleeping? Yeah, I guess. Oh, okay. I'm going to bed. Okay, good night, Selena. Sleeping. Good night, Justin. Sleeping. You are really good at that voice. That's freaking me out, man. <laughs> I thought it would sound a little bit more like a, um, um... Oh, no, this is 19 years so, later. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Chapter 2, Happy How Birthday, Jacqueline. 19 years later. It sounds like Wakes almost up. like a, um... Ugh, I hate waking up at 7 for school. 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. There's no... Jacqueline, get up in time for school. I'm sorry, you pronounced that wrong. It's T-H-I-M-E. Get up in time. Get up in time. <laughs> get up in time for school. Jacqueline, coming, Mom, downstairs. Oh, Jacqueline, I made you breakfast. Hurry, because you're going to miss the bus. It comes in an hour. Okay, Mom. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Daddy. Happy birthday, yeah, Jacqueline. Like this, guys. No, no. That's no. You're playing the part of Jacqueline. <laughs> okay, here I go. No, no, but turn, turn the, t turn the thing off. <laughs> no, leave it, leave it. Oh, leave okay, it, leave it. okay, okay, okay. Happy birthday, Jacqueline. <laughs> oh yeah, happy birthday, sweetie. <laughs> Come on, 
one, Daniel. Come on, Daniel, read it. Read it, Daniel. You make me so much fun. <laughs> da Daniel, Daniel, come on, get your stuff together, man. I need to stop. Come on, Jack, you can do it together. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, okay, come on, let's get more serious here. Stop, please. <laughs> I, uh, All right. I'm done. I'm done. No please more. Please All right. More. You're welcome, Jacqueline. You're already ten years old. I'm proud of you. Wait a sec. Is it nineteen? Wait, is it nineteen years later? Nineteen years later. <laughs> no wait, Did it say nine years later? No, nineteen. Oh 19. my god. Nineteen years later, and she's only ten years old. <laughs> this is such a bad fanfic. Our little girl is growing up so fast. Mom. All right, get your stuff ready, and I'll walk you to the bus stop. Okay, goes get stuff. Five minutes later. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> walking. <laughs> Ugh, no play, I, hate, I hate walking to the bus stop. Hey, Jacqueline. <laughs> oh, hey, Ethan. What's up? Mind if I walk to the bus stop? No, get out. And that's the end of the fanfic, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Keep going, dude. Keep going, going. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, and happy birthday. And Jacqueline. gift. <laughs> you didn't have to get me anything, Ethan. Nah, just open it. Open the gift. Wow, Ethan, it's beautiful. Where's the other part of it? Oh, hold on. Takes out from pocket. Happy 10th birthday. Love, Ethan. All oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Ethan. Hugs. <laughs> You're welcome, <laughs> Jack. Oh. And that, that is actually well, the end of the Well, fanfic. that's the end of the fan fiction. That's the end of the fan fiction. Enjoy. Are you sure? Yeah. Look. Well, that sucks. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Let's, re let's read the reviews. Let's see. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, let's read here, some reviews. Here are the let's comments. Believe in me, JB asks, why all caps? And it's good. Okay, good question. ALQD22 says, it is an okay story, but it is written in the format of a play. Rosalind D0034 says, it is okay. It's The Love Between Tony and Pepper by Jenny Loves New York. Rated Fiction K, English, Romance slash Humor, A.E. Stark slash Tony, V. Potts slash Pepper. Chapters, four. Words, 1,500. Reviews, five. Two phase, six follows. And it was last updated June 16th. July. July 16th. Sorry. I... How do you want to resign when I don't accept it? Pepper laughed when Tony talked about her resigning, but they fail. They fall oh. into kisses soon after it. <laughs> when both didn't get enough air, they interrupt as Tony gets a call from Fury. He decided to go away some steps because he didn't wanted to make Pepper worried again. God, this is atrocious. <laughs> Particularly after this okay, whole Okay, no, 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 just stop. The, this the, one's bad. No, no wait, wait, wait. Bad is our specialty here at Comedy Combat. <laughs> the red-haired woman turned around and looked at the half-destroyed destroyed city. No space. She decided if the streets wouldn't be that ruined, it would be a great view. But then she watched at the sky. Suddenly, her thought get crazy. How could she be that blind? He was dying, and she just cared about the company. She had known it better. He changed since Afghanistan, and in what? a good way, but he go back to his old habits, the parties and the alcohol. She suggests tat. He didn't trust her enough. Again, her view <laughs> goes down, talks the streets, and she tried to stop the tears falling down her cheek. She was still in thoughts when she noticed a gently hand on her shoulder. She turned fast in the direction where the person stand behind her and turned on a fake smile. That's not the only thing she can turn on. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Though she saw the look at Tony's eyes that he known something was wrong. Hey, what's comma, wrong? Comma, comma, comma. 
Hey, what's wrong? What what? And th this hey is H A Y. It hey. was it was just a second later when he asked her. The woman heard the worried sound in his voice, and she looked at him just a short time. Then her eyes looked away. Pepper, what's wrong? You have to talk to me. Do you regret it, or are you hurt? Hurt? <laughs> because if you hurt, you should have said something. Okay, Pepper, look at me, please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, please. <laughs> he already pleaded her, and when he wanted to speak along, she interrupted speak. Tony. Speak? <laughs> oh my god. E double E K. Speak. Speak. <laughs> her yes. lips, the two T's, met his and they kissed again with so many feelings around both. Tony just feel completed by the way she kissed him. He knows a long time that Pepper wasn't just his PA, personal assistant, but he cares and wanted to know what's going on in her head. <laughs> so I guess you didn't regret it? He smiled at her full of love in his eyes. But Pepper, you just thought about all too much. Everything is okay, right? Tony. <laughs> TBC, end of chapter one. On to chapter two. Gosh, I'm afraid, that some, I'm afraid that somebody I know will see this. Here is the second chapter. Uh, they didn't put it, but it's author's note. Here is the second chapter. At first, I have to thank Nancy Oz for the review, and I hope I get some more smiley face. So hope you like it. Um, oh, wait, that this is you, man. That's my... Mm. Holy God. I'm not hurt, and of course I don't regret it. But as much as I love the view at the moment, it's really cold here. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the? Okay, whatever. She was looking at him, and her lips formed a small smile. I'm such an idiot. Oh God, Pepper! I thought I thought wonder what you wanted to say. Okay, do you know the next apartment I owned? He was looking at Pepper with his wide open, beautiful eyes, and she totally could get lost in his eyes. <laughs> I don't think we got lost in. <sighs> she didn't have to think long because she knew every building Stark Industry owned. She told Tony the address, and then he goes some steps. What does that even mean? Pepper watched him, and then she saw he just kept his helm up. She was getting nervous because he would bring her to that apartment, and she doesn't know what would happen after this. She doesn't like the fly up to the roof, so why would she like this one? No, she would take a taxi. Tony walked back and nearer to Pepper. So, do you want to go? Uh, well, he, um, <laughs> no, Tony. She was, she was fluttering and gets just more nervous than before, because he didn't say something to stop her, just looked at her with a big <laughs> smile in his face. <laughs> in, in his face. Then she stopped talking and was looking at her feet. So Peppa Potts is afraid of flying with Iron Man? He said getting closer to her. If, if this... this would be possibly there were so close Pepper could feel his breath. What the hell? Then suddenly he steps away <laughs> and holding his hands in her direction. Come on, Pepper. I'll be with you. You trust me, right? Hell no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the redhead looked at him just a second when his face gets thoughtful. Pepper? <laughs> He asked her again. You trust me, right? Oh, shoot. Friend. You trust me, right? They didn't put quotation marks. That's there. That's the author's I, I know, I know. Then she realized she would made him worry if she wouldn't answer. Yeah, I trust you. I really did. But we have to talk about this. She showed off his che chest, okay? And I'm a... Wait. And I'm a little bit afraid of flying beside a plane. Beside in a you will like it, and you know I would never <laughs> let you get hurt. <laughs> he said, and then he jumped to Pepper and takes her. Oh my. <laughs> Pepper could scream they were flying. I really hope you know I hate you right now. <laughs> she told him, and trying to look at the top and said, off the ground. <laughs> I'm sitting over here crying, dude. <laughs> chapter three, author's I'm note. I'm, I'm really crying. sorry that it took me okay. so much time to write another chapter. Uh, the chapter is only like a couple of lines. It's, it's only like 15 lines at the most. It's not even full paragraphs. 
so much time to write another chapter, but I have exams and I really have to learn. Yeah, you do because I mean, you, you're you, yeah, you clearly your vocabulary you is off the charts. But I see I have some follower and then stupid asterisk space. It was a cold night and while they're flying with while they're flying, the city was in chaos. They could see all those lights from ambulance, police cars, and even the cars from the reporter. When Pepper take a little glance down there, she fast take her hand into Tony's shoulder. Her head into Tony's shoulder. Her head into Tony's shoulder. It was just too high Wait, where what? they are. Oh, okay. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> she quickly closed her eyes and shaked her head. Tony couldn't hide a small smile when he noticed that Pepper was Great, so he could be her hero once again. Pepper, Pepper, calm down. Relax, everything is fine. Just look at me. His voice was so <laughs> softy that she felt safe and looked at him. And then she couldn't anything else than a smile at him. It was just Tony and she. Then she were already there. Tony landed at the balcony and Pepper could stand again. The suit began to pull off him and he still grins at her. <laughs> what? She didn't understand why he grins and looked at his face. <laughs> was it that, that was bad to fly with me? Pepper shaked his head. What? Pepper's a girl. It wasn't that bad, but it scares her that he took her twice and just fly away with her. What to go in? That's what she said. Oh. <laughs> What's well, not? No, that's the joke. Oh, that's oh. The joke. <laughs> Want to get in? I mean, you look like you're still freezing, and I can't risk to get you ill. Remember, I am hopeless without you. He twinkled to her, grabbed her hand, and pulled her inside. TBC. Tuberculosis. <laughs> <laughs> Final chapter. Author's note, I'm sorry I don't know how it could... I'm sorry I don't know how it could happen that the chapter was in German... Oh, dude, maybe she is German. Maybe. She oh, I, I kind of feel bad now. Blonde hair, blue eye. No, I don't. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> anyway. Her, her profile picture makes her look like Aryan. Yeah. Okay, oh, continuing the author's note. Okay, it's been a while I, that I wrote something about this fanfic, but now I have to learn for physics. And he, oh, God help us. And it took, <laughs> and it took me sometimes a while to translate. Oh crap, she is German. We yeah. just made fun of a poor German girl. <laughs> oh well. We but it says Diddy loves New York. <laughs> so what could the NY be? What in German starts with NY? Uh, Nazi youth. Jenny loves Nazi okay. youth. There we, all right, there we go. We're, that's good. Let's go. Slandering over the internet. <laughs> I mean, I want that there are just anyway, a few anyway, mistakes anyway. in my chapters, oh, my and I want to write longer ones, so I hope you understand. It was now some time ago since the big explosion in Tony's pants, and it was the only <laughs> <laughs> top all television channel. Jarvis informed Tony just when he walked into the apartment, but Tony just wanted to make Pepper feel comfortable, so he ordered Jarvis to turn on the heating. Oh, my. Quickly, Pepper walked <laughs> to the couch and take a sit. She groaned. The woman was totally exhausted and had to do some paperwork for today. Tony was during her walk to the couch at the kitchen and searched for some wine, which he just found, which he found just after looking in some cupboards. He took two classes and was then going to two classes. Two classes? Two classes and was then going to her. After the after to pour the wine for both of them, Jarvis disturbed when he told Tony about an important call. Daniel, you got to be serious about this. Daniel actually left. Not Daniel Sean, whatever the hell your name is. <laughs> Can't remember anymore. What the hell is now? <laughs> Can't, <laughs> Can't I just to have a quiet drink with my girlfriend? The man didn't notice the look at Pepper's face after his statement about her as his girlfriend. She was now totally awake and her eyes open when he turned to her. Pepper, everything all right? He asked confused. <laughs> he hadn't noticed what... What he said, it like it was the most normal thing at the world to call her his girlfriend. Fast, she shacked her head and smiled. She don't want to talk about this now. Everything was fine ha <laughs> how it was, and he wouldn't talk to him about this ting later. Okay, then what is it, Jarve? Agent Fury wants to talk to you immediately. He wants you to come to the expo. See, that'd be perfect for Daniel. He could do the robot voice. He did mean this serious, right? Right, Stark. I mean it's serious. Get your ass over here. The man was getting louder <laughs> as he said the last sentence. I, I, Captain. 
<laughs> Tony answered, and he had to smile about his own comment, and Pepper just shacked her head. End of the fanfic. Tickle Me Lucario by Lucario Freak. I got bored and uh, and Lucario Freakish, so I wrote this mini story. Part 1. Lucario was running in the wild grass across Kanto, which is stupid because he's from Sinnoh. Yeah. He was running for his life through the trees, bushes, and fields, trying to hide and get away from his terrible master, Sir Aaron, who's actually a pretty cool dude, so Lucario Freak, you're terrible. Sir Aaron was a good master well until he started to poke rape the poor Lucario. <laughs> Ever since that day, he ran far, far away from him. And he flees every day nonstop except to rest or eat. And I ran. All right. Uh, one day, Lucario was resting in the Canto Viridian Forest. He had a small campfire lit up using his flamethrower breath move. Size. Uh, what? Same, same day, same shit. Shows Lucario. Lucario had a hasty nature. He could care less about life at times. Sometimes Lucario would cuss at times, though Sir Aaron trained him not to. Nearby Ash was walking down the forest trying to catch another Caterpie. <laughs> Apparently his old Caterpie got eaten by a Pidgey, so he needed a new one. He had his Ultra Balls on his waist, ready for Caterpie. <laughs> Ash was walking down, and he saw a campfire up ahead through the bushes. Hey, oh, isn't that a Lucario? Says Ash. <laughs> Ash slowly approaches the Lucario as Lucario is surprised and is frozen sitting on the boulder in front of the campfire. What do you want? As Lucario was full blooded by pedal fear, Lucario was honestly afraid of humans after what Sir Aaron did to him. I'm not gonna hurt you, Lucario, says Ash. <laughs> Ash bends down towards the Pokemon as Lucario was shaking in fear, looking at him cautiously. Hey, look at your feet. I had no idea you had pink pads underneath, says Ash as he begins to rub Lucario's paws. What? Stop that, says Lucario in surprise. Wow, these are so soft. I bet it feels great to be kicked by these. Says Ash. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> says Lucario as he laughs as it was tickling him. I wish you were my Pokemon, Lucario. Says Ash as he rubs his paws. <laughs> Stop it, Sir Aaron! <laughs> Yells the Pokemon. Sir Aaron? Says Ash in curiosity. There was an awkward pause as Lucario and Ash stare into each other's eyes. Suddenly, Lucario's eyes began to water, and he started to cry. <laughs> forget, it. forget about it. <laughs> right, it's the Pokemon. Lucario flees into the woods. Hey, Lucario, come back. I thought we were having fun. <laughs> Says Ash as he chases after him. This is when it gets real freaky uh, for anybody listening out there. Uh, fair warning. Part 2. Lucario stopped at the forest lake and began to cry his poke eyes out as tears <laughs> fell into the lake. Lucario can see his ugly reflection on the moonlight water. Why did he do that to me? Why? Says Lucario. Lucario, are you okay? I'm sorry if I hurt you by rubbing your paws. Says Ash. No, it's, it's not that. Says Lucario. It's my old master I ran away from. Sir Aaron, says Lucario. What What about Sir Aaron? What did he do to you? <laughs> there was another pause until Lucario spoke up again. <laughs> it's a story that will haunt me forever. But I'll tell you, boy. Says Lucario. It was raining. It was a raining day, and we were resting in a cottage near our training area. As Lucario began to tell his story. Flashback. Lucario and Sir Aaron came in their private cottage as they were both soaked from the rain. They had finished doing their daily training battling wild Pokemon. When they were battling the Snorlax, it began to rain on them, so they rushed into their cottage. Lucario was shivering from the cold rain, soaked. Let me get you a soft blanket, Lucario. Says Sir Aaron. <laughs> that, that would be g great, Master. Oh. Sir Aaron made the Lucario rest on the cottage bed and laid the blanket on the Lucario. Better, Lucario? Yes. Much better, Master. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Continue the Lucario, grateful to have such a good master until today. Sir Aaron began to rub <laughs> on the Lucario's wet, furry, yellow chest. Wow, Lucario, you feel so soft. <laughs> Sir Aaron. <laughs> Thank you, Master. As Lucario began to close his eyes to get some rest, we're terrible people. I oh my god. <laughs> Suddenly, his hands went lower towards Lucario's blue stomach. I can't. Oh, uh, <laughs> no. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta finish it. We have three minutes left. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Is he 
And onto his private area. <laughs> and suddenly his blue and black face started to blush into a mad red color. Ask the Lucario in fear and confusion. Sean. Sir Aaron began to fondle Lucario's junk underneath. Oh my god. Oh god, no. <laughs> Means to be YouTube famous, I can't do this. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, then. Please stop, you are holding my master. <laughs> oh, I, I completely lost my. Uh, uh, go on, go on, Sean. Lucario, I love you, and you are the master to my heart. Says Sir Aaron, <laughs> the weirdest thing happened. Sir Aaron went underneath the sheets, and Lucario could feel something white. Aww. Oh. Oh. Mario's surprised. Oh. <laughs> Sir Aaron, as his head was bobbing underneath the sheets, I'm killing myself. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Sir Aaron, <laughs> please stop. <laughs> Whispered Lucario, his eyes began to tear up, but the awkward pleasure keeps going. Oh, kill me, please. <laughs> we have one minute, guys. Oh, all right, uh. Uh, I'll just say my lines. Pokemon came underneath the sheets on Sir Aaron. Oh. Sir Aaron sticks his head from the sheets and wipes his mouth. Now it's my turn, Lucario. Says Sir Aaron. No, no, not that, please. Anything but that. Cries Lucario. Suddenly, Sir Aaron yanks Lucario's ears and positions his body over the edge of the bed. Having his body bent over, Sir Aaron grabbed the back of his neck, <laughs> his left hand, and uh, he oh. did some stuff. And his tail on the right hand. Please don't. Do this! Screams the Pokemon, but it was too late. Sir Aaron, uh, did it in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> For that whole hour, Lucario could remember the pain and violation he had felt as he was being raped, and a flashback. Finish it up, Lucario. After that happened, <laughs> I left in the rain and never looked back. <laughs> I've been running for a whole year. I'm so sorry, Lucario. Says Ash. Ash picks up the Pokemon and gives Lucario a hug, and then the two began to talk to each each side by sides. Ash agreed to be his new new and better trainer as Ash adopts Lucario. End of that horrifying fanfic. Thank you for watching Comedy Combatants. I hope you enjoyed it. I know we didn't. That was very painful. <laughs> I hope we didn't start you. <laughs> I hope I hope we didn't spark up any uncontrollable you know never mind i'm done that was terrible next time, next time on comedy combatants reads bad fan fiction we will take a look at the fanfic maker and read a second ash chicken lucario fan fiction thank you for watching thank you for watching all right bye bye <laughs>